Go. And make sure you back away from the robots. You should be able to meet her back. You don't want to interfere with your robot. filter uh, that it means high efficiency particle absorption uh, we use this because it filters not only uh, dust but also air and harmful gases uh, we also used a particle uh, dust sensor so like there it, it tries to avoid it and then looks for, again for the for the infrared sensor. Follow the black line until it says, sees the red tape, which indicates that there is a trapped person. Now it will pick up the heavy debris and it will move it aside. And then the claw will come back up and it will come back to home base. The bed moves up to escort the severely injured, like the people who have lost limbs or broken legs, to the relief camp so they can um, heal faster. Now the guidebot has detected the down power, so it'll safely go around the down power line to prevent any electrocution or any other damage to the victims. And now it will find its way to the camp. Once it sees red, it knows that it has reached the camp. Since it's reached the since it's seen red, it knows it's reached the camp, and now it will let uh, let the bed down to, for the um, other camp volunteers to escort the severely injured and the other victims to the registration area. So first the color sensor will see black. That is a sign that they should deploy the first shelter. Next red, which is for the next shelter. Finally, blue for the third shelter. And in this way, three shelters are very rapidly deployed. Distribute food to all the people in the camp based on their dietary preferences. I would have a card stating I'm a vegetarian, and when I would be at the station, I would get a vegetarian meal. Then, let's say if I am non-vegetarian, I would get I would get non-vegetarian food. Many victims of disasters suffer from PTSD, so we decided to build a robotic puppet called Happy Bot. The Happy Bot is driven by a Raspberry Pi, which drives the four servo motors.
10, correct. The answer is three, correct.